Welcome to episode six of Area 69 After Dark. Today we have Miss Lorena 69 once again because girl, <laughs> look at me girl, everyone wanted you to come back. They were like, make her the co-host. <laughs> Muchas gracias, muchachas. Ya me siento uh, Kim Kardashian. Sí, no, porque, Chris Jenner. Oh, Chris Jenner. Okay. You're the momager of us. Chris Jenner, porque, yes. porque me están pidiendo que vuelva otra vez. Yes, Todos period. me están mandando DM. Me están mandando, oh, they've been, sí, they've been sí, telling sí, you sí, too? Sí, sí, sí. Yeah. So, muchas gracias. Les agradezco de corazón porque me quieren ver aquí. She's me ando. You guys love Mama 69. <laughs> And I love you guys. <laughs> So as you guys can see right now, we have some little Area 69 After Dark shirts. And honestly, these were like custom made by Dreams Art. If you guys don't follow him already, he does a lot of my designs and stuff. And he's super cool to work with. But he made um, some shirts for us. So I was like, oh, we should just, you know, wear just them wear tonight. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a part of me is thinking about launching some merch again. But when i really think about it i'm like oh it's so stressful a lot of work it's a lot of work mm -hmm. yeah it's a lot of work and then there always seems to be problems with like orders and shipments and stuff like that so like you know maybe when the baby's a little bit older yeah know. right now it's just been it's been pretty crazy with him he he got sick um he got sick but he didn't get sick it was weird it was yeah he's was still weird. kind of sick but not sick i don't know it's weird like he supposedly ended up catching some sort of um like a viral flu or whatever but keep in mind me and isaac never go out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't want to ever yeah dude yeah, yeah. so it kind of put me in a position where it's like okay we don't go out we're not around people or anything like that so how the hell did he get sick it happens it happens yeah so now i'm like am i being too extra like am i maybe <laughs> hey but you girl you can't tell me that because you're pretty extra yes, with me too pero yo sí lo sacaba. no sí no A la food for less. <laughs> no like do you remember the first time i went to the snow Oh, yeah, because, porque tú tenías asma, niña, y te daba pulmonía every two weeks. I know, but that's what I'm telling you. Like, I had to. Te, ¿Me morías? <sighs> A ti te daba pulmonía every two weeks. Ya todos, toda la farmacia, los employees, todos nos conocían. Yeah. Oh, welcome back, Mrs. Reese. She has pneumonia again. <laughs> I almost died when I was a baby. Yes, she was really sick all the time, most of the time. Por eso te cuidaba mucho, pues. Yeah. Yeah, por eso. You know what? Mm -hmm. I feel like my childhood, like a lot of it, I remember just being sick all the time and not being able to go out or like do a lot of things because I was always sick. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. Pero te compusiste que fue lo bueno. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, but I feel like my childhood did change a lot. Claro. Yeah. Ya es que te la pasaba enferma y siempre conectada a la máquina, pues. Wait, talk about how I almost died. Uh, When I was a newborn. A newborn? Oh, okay. So, did I legit almost die? Sí. Okay. Cuando, cuando la tortuga? Uh -huh. Oh, sí. Es que fuimos al remate, muchachas, y le compramos una, una tortuguita de esas, de esas, pues, mascotitas que yeah. venden en el rematito. Like you guys know when you go to the swap yeah, meet. little canastita. Yeah. <laughs> and then okay. they give you little pebbles to feed okay. them and shit. Yeah, it oh, was very much that. Yo estuve en contra de eso, pero Jenny... Y Rubén, sí, mami, sí, una tortuguita, bla, bla, bla. Y tu And papá. Sí, cómprenlas. Yeah. Se las compró mi marido. Ok. Ella tenía, estaba recién nacida, tenía como two weeks, como dos semanas, más God. o menos. Pero esa vez yo no fui al remate. Yo me quedé contigo en la casa. Oh, you didn't oh, go. No. Cuando ustedes eran bebés, yo no los sacaba hasta los dos meses. I think I waited about. Yeah, like about month, the same. Huh? Yo me quedé en la casa con, con, mi ma con Annette y mi marido se fue con ellos, por eso llegaron con una pinche tortuga. Ok, entonces los chiquillos iban y jugaban con la tortuga y luego iban y agarraban a la bebé. Y que le da salmonela, muchachas. No, ya se Wait, me I got salmonella. Yo salmonella. So you can get salmonella you from get... not eating chicken? Yes. Raw chicken? Mm, yes. You can get that to tortugas. You can even search. It'll tell you that you can get salmonella. They carry What? salmonella. Yes. That's how you got it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. The little tortuguitas, they carry salmonella. Does that include like hamsters? 
Um, I don't know about hamsters. I don't know about hamsters, but I know tortugas. Yeah, probably more like reptiles. Maybe. Oh, I don't know if a so, turtle is reptile. But. Ruben and 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 Jenny jugando con la tortuga y luego iban y agarraban a la bebé y sas que le pegan la salmonela y ya se me moría. Ya hacía del baño pura sangre, muchachas. Are you serious? Sangre. Y te estaba dando el biberón acá y you were pooping oh it out. Oh my god. Ya te iba a meter a botizar de, de emergencia. Oh, that makes me want to cry. Yes, bien, bien, bien mala, bien mala. Y vuelta y vuelta y emergencia y que no, y que she's going to be fine, y que bla, bla, bla. Y que, y que no tiene tú, nada. Y es que tenías dos semanas, pues. Take ibuprofen or Motrin. Not even, not even. You were two weeks old. ¿Qué te daban? Fuck. So they gave me nothing. Nothing. Entonces un día te llevé a Origin Care y me dijeron uh, que le diera gelatina. Um, Mushed up. No, gelatina disuelta, que quedara como en agua. Hmm. Diluida con agua mm -hmm. y que te diera eso. You were only two weeks. So te lo di y boom, empezaste weeks? a vomitar. Ya. Yeah. Entonces me dijeron ahí: si empieza a vomitar, se viene con ella emergencia luego, luego otra vez. Sure enough, llegamos a la casa, te empecé a dar la gelatina revuelta con agua para di um, rebajarla. Mm -hmm. Y en cuanto te la empiezo a dar, fue cuando empezaste a hacer sangre y a vomitar. Dije: déjame, se va a deshidratar. Y ya, pues yo empecé a llorar y le dije a ah, tu papá, no se va a componer, no se está componiendo, vamos a Tijuana con ella. Pero primero vamos con el padre uh -huh. a que te bautizara de emergencia porque ya estaba nomás así. Are you yes. serious? Uh -huh. So you genuinely thought I was going to sí. die? Sí, pues es que oh, llévete, llévete al doctor y le dije a tu papá, vamos a llevarla a Tijuana porque aquí no la van a componer. Dijo tu papá, no, tengo miedo en Tijuana. Le dije, pues aquí que el pinche le van a hacer, no The le hacen nada. The don't care here. Te había llevado como 10 times in two weeks. Yeah. In a week and a half. Y ya este, así quedó, entonces dijo tu papá, no, no, mejor llévala aquí otra vez. Dije, ok, pues vamos. Y ya te llevé. Y fue cuando conocí a la doctora Lois, right there. She was on emerging call. Emer she, she was, was, a, she was working on, No, she was at the urgent care at the time. Oh, okay. Ya ves que les toca cier cierto. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she was there. Y ya me dijo, y ya le empecé a platicar lo que pasaba y todo. Y me dijo, ¿cuánto tiene la niña mala? Le dije, como dos semanas. Two weeks y nadie te ha dicho, ¿qué te han dicho que le des? Y ya le dije todo. Dijo, oh my God, ¿a dónde la llevaste? Ya le dije. Te había llevado a la 14 al hospital, a Urgent Cares, bla, bla, bla. Y ya me dijo, ¿y nadie te ha dicho que le des leche especial para que le pares la diarrea? Le dije, no, nadie me ha dicho. What were you giving me at the time? Pues leche fórmula regular. Do you remember what, what brand? No, mija. I think it was Infomil. I'm sure, yeah. I'm I'm not that sure, was like the most yeah. popular one, yeah. Y ya este le dije, no, dijo, y se enojó, dijo, wow, no puedo creer, no puedo creer que nadie te ha dicho que le cambiaras la leche a especial. Le dije, pues no. Y dijo, se te va a componer tu niña, se te va a componer, te prometo. Dijo, pero saliendo de aquí le vas a comprar esta leche, era una leche especial para de rey vómito. Mm -hmm. Dijo, vas a comprar esta leche y me le vas a dar por gotero, not even the bottle, a dropper. Cada like dos the horas. One. Ajá, cada mm -hmm. dos horas, poquita, poquita. Para que su estomaguito y su, su este... Like, get back on track. Ya, yeah, al pasito, liro, bailiro, y no le caiga de peso, porque pues ya tenías como dos semanas así. Uh -huh. Y le dije, ok. Dijo, y te quiero ver en mi consultorio en... Se me que three days o two days, no me acuerdo. Dije, ok. En cuanto te empecé a dar así el goterito, em, se te paró la tierra. Sí hacías, pero ya más durito, ya mm. liro, bailiro, más like normal. Más solid. Ajá. Ella te alivió. Fue por eso que... La agarré de pediatra para todos. Yeah. And you know what, dude? Mm -hmm. I remember Dr. Lois so much. Yeah, you think she she's was... alive still? I think so. Yeah? Because yeah. she had a cancer at one point. She was a... Yeah, she was a cancer survivor. So, Dr. Lois, if you happen to, you know, come across this podcast, I love you so much because you saved my life. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah you yeah, saved my did. life. And, you know, I kept going to her up until I was, what, maybe... 17. Really? Almost 18. Oh, no. You know what? It was Jenny. I think I was like it was 15. Jenny. It 16. was Jenny because she retired when you were like 14, 15. Right? Yeah. Cuando, si ya fue cuando te cambiamos con Dr. Lori. ¿Te acuerdas? Yeah. 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 Because she retired. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I don't know how you even lived but through she, that. She was such a good doctor. Did you even Dios sleep? La bendiga. Huh? Did you no. even sleep when I was... No dormíamos, ni tu papá ni yo. Él se iba a trabajar sin dormir toda la noche. Pues, ¿cómo íbamos a dormir, hija, si te estabas muriendo? No, I know. No. And, and you know what the crazy thing is, is like, even when Emmy's sick, just like a regular cold, I'm over here freaking out and stuff, oh, you no. know? Oh, no. It's scary. We've been through a lot with you. 
That it's and scary. then the asthma. No, that and then two months of like a month and a half after bronchitis. Really bad. And that's when I got the asthma. That's when you got yeah. the asthma. Se yeah. te quedó el asma ya después hasta los nueve años. Yeah. I do remember that. Mm -hmm. I hear Emmy crying. He pooped. Oh, They're washing his butt. Because oh. <laughs> you guys, fun fact, we don't um, use wipes here <laughs> in the house. For us, the adults, yeah, we use wipes. <laughs> but for Emmy, he gets his butt washed every single time he poops. Because he's just so, like, his skin is very light and it's very sensitive. He's literally exactly like Isaac. So mm -hmm. whenever he poops, we just have to... Um, we have to wash his butt <laughs> otherwise if we use like regular baby wipes he gets a really bad rash so if you guys can hear that that's that's what's going on but yeah dude that's crazy that's so scary very scary pasamos muchos sustos contigo tu fuiste la que saliste mas enfermiza de todos de los tres I wonder why I don't know maybe cuando te dio la salmonella perdiste defensas for sure that's what I'm For sure, at two weeks old. Es lo que siempre he pensado, que yeah. perdiste defensas. Porque ya después te malabas, híjole, every two, three weeks te vas mala. I feel like now that I have a son, I'm really paranoid. And I'm always scared of, like, something happening to him. I'm always scared of, like, you know, like, I'm the type of, I'm the mom that's an annoying mom. Honestly, I'm that annoying mom where I'm like, okay, if you guys want us to go over, is anyone sick? Is anyone this? Is anyone that? You know, but now that this is happening, we haven't gone out and he still got sick. So I'm like, am I being too extra? Am I doing the most by trying to not take him to places where people are sick? But to me, it's like, well, if I know people are sick, he's at higher risk of getting sick. Claro. Right? Claro. Y pues cada quien cuida lo que le duele. Pues, I mean, es normal. What would you do? Uh, yo cuando ustedes estaban chiquillos hacía lo mismo, no los llevaba. Yeah, I feel like once he's over a year, okay, that's a little bit different, you yeah. know, because he can start taking antibiotics from what I know, mm -hmm. right? Um, more medicine and stuff like that. Not that I want him to, but like I feel like it's less risky getting sick over the age of one compared to now. Uh, it's less scary. Well, yeah. Cuando están más grandecitos. Because right now they can't really take much. Por lo pronto ya te pueden decir, oh, me duele la cabeza o oh, something, you know. Yeah, Pero yeah, ahorita yeah. cuando están chiquitos nada más lloran y no saben de qué. Yeah, this past week has been pretty crazy, you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like, I don't know if, I don't know if he's just getting like chiqueado with me or if it's because he's sick that he's like wanting to be with me 24-7. But like, dude, this past week have I slept? No. <laughs> I have not slept because he has been wanting to sleep with me. And like, you know, the way that I think of it is like, if he wants to sleep with me, I'm not going to try to force him to sleep alone. You know, I'd rather just sleep him with me because if I force him to sleep alone, I'm going to lose sleep as well. And then the next day, Isaac's at work and I have to take care of him. Yep. You know, so I'm kind of put in a position where it's like, okay, you don't want to get used to him. You don't want him to get used to co-sleeping, but... It's either that or you lose sleep, mm -hmm. you know? So that's why this kind of, this episode was kind of like unexpected because we didn't think that we were going to film this episode tonight, but we just kind of randomly were like, you know what? Let's film tonight's episode. Mm -hmm. Let's just do it. And then we'll, whatever, you know? So we don't really have anything like planned out of what we want to talk about specifically, but we did post a question thing on Instagram. So we're going to be answering your guys' questions. And a lot of the questions are for you. What? Do you want me to pick any? Yeah, like go for whether it. it's scandalous or not. Mm, go for it. I think I think we should do that. Yeah, no, let's take another Answer scandalous chale. question. Okay, chale. yeah, chale. my mom's gonna. <laughs> my mom's gonna pop off on ah, you guys. I'm used to that. <laughs> ah, I'm used to that. But you know what I love about you? You know how to pop off on people without being like a cunt. You know what I mean? Soy Scorpio, acuérdate. Period. <laughs> How did your mom start her cake business? Uh, I went to school, you guys. I went to she school. She fucked up her hand. Oh, yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be a lunch lady mm -hmm. for about 12 years. And I used to be on the computer. So I got carpal tunnel and I got chronic inflammation. 
So I, I had to do something else, another kind of job, because I couldn't do the but same. But you got that from doing, like, the lunch numbers or what? The numbers, sh- okay. the computer. Yeah. Uh-huh. I remember that when my mom messed up her hand, she ended up uh, pursuing a, a case with the company that she worked with at the time. But that wasn't at the beginning. That was after they didn't want to send me to therapy. Wait, wait. All, okay, I don't all, remember that. All was all I was asking is for them to send me to therapy. And they wanted to school. Yes. And they wanted me to get a surgery. And I didn't want to get a surgery. Mm-hmm. So they didn't want to send me to therapy. So that's when I decided to sue them. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Because they wanted. So you did actually talk to them prior to yes. actually suing them? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Long I don't, time. I don't remember that. Uh, yeah. A few months. And mm-hmm. they, they didn't want to do anything. No. Uh huh. They didn't want to send me to a therapy. So I was like, hell no, I'm not getting a surgery. Yeah. No. Well, because with the surgery, you you end up getting like permanent damage. Mm -hmm. On these two fingers. It's like a risk. It's like you could end up good or you could end up fucked up for the rest of your life. So my mom was kind of like, well, then, you know, what? I'm going to sue you guys. The fuck? (laughs) No period. Con quién están <laughs> yeah, period, period. Sí, pues ya les digo y tuve que mandar la compañía porque no me querían mandar a terapia, me querían operar la mano y hablé con el doctor que me operó la mano, entonces me dijo, "Hay dos riesgos. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuáles son los riesgos? Uno, que a lo mejor no la mano le va a quedar como dormida y la otra es que no va a poder mover estos dedos. So iba a traer los pinches dos dedos así tiesos todo el tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> you're all making cakes you're all <laughs> so i was like heck no no surgery for yeah. me no surgery so yeah tuve que um demandarlos y ya con el licenciado y todo a huevo me mandaron un año y medio a, a terapia mm-hmm. y miren mi mano y nunca agarré do cirugía. you feel like you're good now not a hundred percent but maybe 85 90 percent mm-hmm. well that's good yeah but when you got when you actually sued them they wanted to send you to school, right? No. Or okay, you use that money I, to go to first school. First, I sued them, and the attorney made them pay for a, a year and a half therapy. Mm. And then like physical therapy. Physical therapy. Yeah. And then when my hand was well, almost back to normal, um, the doctor told me, you cannot go back to do the same work because your hand is going to be messed up forever and ever. Mm-hmm. So the attorney told me, you can... You can ask for them to to pay your school, mm-hmm. you know, something something else. I like to something, start a new career. A new career, thing. easy, yeah. that I can do with my hands, with my messed up hand. So, um, yeah, I asked for that. And they told me that, yeah, they were going to pay for um, whatever I a wanted. A year of school. A year, a year or two years. Mm-hmm. Whatever I wanted. So, at the time, I wanted uh, cosmetology. So, I started doing cosmetology. Do you remember taking me to a class? No. You don't remember taking me to a class? Did I? So, <laughs> I have to interrupt you. Okay, I know people are going to get mad that I interrupted you, but this is my part of the story, okay? So, when she went to school for cosmetology, she was taking, like, a course for hair. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, I remember she would bring her head home from, from school, and she would, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, her... <laughs> Her cabeza, that's crazy that you actually went to cosmetology school. I did, like for a month. Yeah, that's crazy. So I remember um, she came home one day from like her class or whatever. And she told me, Mija, like, no te quieres pintar el pelo or something like that. And I was just like, oh, well, yeah, I'm down. Fuck it. <laughs> that's when I wanted to go blonde. Oh. That's when I wanted to go blonde. And I had currently been looking for someone to do my hair. But in my head, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm down. I'll be the guinea pig. Like, who cares, you know? <laughs> So I remember I even went to your class a few times, even like your cake classes. No, but the cake classes I do remember. Yeah, I, I went to your, your hair cosmetology classes a few times and um, I even talked to the teacher mm-hmm. and he was going to dye my hair blonde. Mm-hmm. Ah, sí, ya me you remember? Yeah. yeah, he was going to dye my hair blonde yeah, ya me and I don't, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I think <laughs> you ended up telling me mejor no, mejor no. because... He was toasting those dolls up, girl. <laughs> si te dije mejor no, es yeah. porque mejor no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you literally told me straight up. You were like, mm, no. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I do remember that. And it's kind of like a crazy stage in my life to remember because like you actually were going to school for cosmetology. I was. I went Imagine if you were a hairstylist now. Yeah, no, I couldn't do it. 
I you didn't do it. enjoy it or what? No, my hand started swollen up again. Oh, yeah? Yes. From here. A big old bola right here. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Con las tijeras sí. and stuff. Y ya me like, dolía and, and I was in pain again. And I, so I, I told the guy, that, the school guy, I told him, you know what? I can't do it. Look at my hand. It's already swollen. Pero did you actually ever dye hair? You did, right? I did. I I, do I, I made highlights that. and... and Got did here. you like it though yes i still like it i just don't know how that's so crazy mm -hmm. so yeah i i told the I owner booker to bleach your hair <laughs> <laughs> i told the owner um he was puerto Rican. so i was like Chicken mean no but no he was really? bueno. mm -hmm. and then I, i told him um no puedo mire como mi mano se me está hinchando otra vez he was like no no puedes no yeah puedes. Um, he was like, do you want to take another class? And I was like, no, what, what else is there? He was like electrician, truck yeah, driver, electrician. um, computer, truck something. driver. Yeah. Computer, sabe que chingados que nunca me gustó lo computer a mí. Y luego me dijo en cakes. Dije, oh, great. I don't like anything. And so at first you didn't even like the cake thing. No, he was the one that convinced me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was like, you take, take, tomes clases de pasteles. Uh -huh. And I was like, nah, no me llama la atención. No me gusta, no me llama la atención. Yeah. Ya lo hizo una vez, no, pero no me llama la atención. Ay, no, qué desesperación. Cálese una semana en la clase de pasteles a ver si le gusta. Usted no sabe si le va a gustar. Nee, no, no. Ándele, pues me estuvo rogando hasta que me convenció. Una semana nomás. Ok. Me encantó. That's crazy. Me encantó. Y luego me hacía burla él. Y en ese was tiempo... He, did, he was the teacher for that too? No, he was the owner. Oh. Owner of the school. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Y en ese tiempo este... Um, pues yo no sé cómo, muchachas, pero llegué a la número uno en un mes. La más fregona de la clase en ese tiempo. Pues yo creo que me salía a mí en los pasteles, tanto que al último me hicieron hacer un video para un app o no sé qué madres. What app? I don't even know, but I... Girl, you better let me know <laughs> so I can hit them up, because girl, if they're using your content... Who knows? Ya ni me acuerdo dónde. Now you can go back and be like, I'm not in a 69. <laughs> Era para el attorney or something. Something, oh, but yeah? it wasn't I, I recorded, yeah. And todas las demás estaban saludas, including the teacher. Including the teacher. They were like, ¿por qué ella? Si ella entró al último, nosotros ya tenemos aquí, bla, bla, bla. Well, cause y'all suck. Yo no sé, a mí me dijeron y pues yo dije que sí. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, madre, lo que piensen mm -hmm. todas. So, ya. Yeah. Y de ahí, un día llegué a la casa. Tenía un mes en la yeah. escuela. Y llegué con un pastel de los que practicábamos allá. So, Jenny was home. I don't know if you remember. I don't, no, I don't know. She was at the house and she was like, Mom, you did that cake? And I was, yeah. You, you need to start selling cakes already. You need to start taking orders. And I was like, no, I'm not ready yet. I've been in school only a month. Mm -hmm. Mom, you already, you got it, Mom? You already know. I'm going to post the picture of the cake and I'm going to tell you. And I was like, she was hey. already doing Instagram. I was like, no, 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 no. Because I already knew how Jenny was, yeah. that she was going to do it. And she started laughing and she said, okay, Mom, I won't do it. She did it anyway. She did it. Yeah. She did it. When I went into my Instagram. You were shook. Yes. Y empecé a temblar. Dije, la madre, ¿cómo voy a hacer todos estos pasteles? Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I started taking orders, you guys. Y luego el señor de la escuela, cada vez que me veía, decía, ya ve, por mí está usted aquí. Por mí aprendió pasteles, porque usted no quería. La tuve que básicamente arrastrar a la clase. Dijo, <laughs> you think he sees your Instagram now? Oh, yeah. Ah, just then. Yeah. Ya yeah, después él me quería para, para maestra. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I do yeah. remember that. Ya, yeah, pero no quise porque a mí no me convenía. Yo They estaba haciendo más feria. Pues pagaban lo regular de una maestra, pero mm. pues yo hacía más con mis pastillas. Yeah, but en teachers mi casa. don't get paid shit. So le dije, no, Why gracias. do you think I'm not a teacher? No, gracias. Le dije, no, no, gracias. Yeah. Yo tengo mi negocio de mi casa. And here we are now. And that's how I started making cakes, you guys. Yeah. That's how my business, my little business started. I think sometimes I don't even realize like how much time has gone by from like everything that we're doing. Because dude, like. Andamos como gallinas descabezadas yeah. todos los días. Literally. <laughs> La gente siempre dice que, que yo soy rude. 
por no platicar contigo en español. So I'm going to go ahead and try to speak in Spanish because they always bully me. <laughs> okay. And now they're going to bully me because I don't know how to speak Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm like, ¿qué quieren de mí? <laughs> like, girl, my mom understands me. She gets it. A estas alturas ya deberías estar acostumbrada. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sí estoy acostumbrada, pero... Ya valió. <laughs> me enfada a leer cosas así. You know what I mean? Me a leer comentarios yeah. así. Uh -huh. Por eso uh -huh. ya deberías estar acostumbrada. Yeah. Which I am, but like people, people just try to make it seem like I'm disrespecting you mm. because I'm oh, not no, speaking no, no, no. in Spanish. Oh, no. But one thing about my mom and her mom, they're not like that. Like, mm. I don't even call my grandma usted or like no. anything like that. I don't talk to her in that like third person, you know, sense because like she doesn't want to feel old. Yeah, y el respeto ahí está. Right. No, no simplemente porque le dicen de tú ya no va a haber respeto. No. Right. But my grandma from Mexico, yeah. she does want that. So I think that's where it's it's been difficult for me because like whenever I talk to my grandma from Mexico, I have to remember to talk in like that usted, usted, usted. what is that, like third person? Usted es como persona like, mayor. Vosotros. No, vosotros es de allá de Argentina. Oh, really? Yeah. No, usted es como hablándole a una persona mayor. Like respect. Yes. Okay. Con más respeto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my grandma from Mexico um, prefers me to talk to her like that, but I don't, I don't know how to talk You're like not used to it. Good. Yeah. You're not used to it. That's. So sometimes I'll call her tú and like, I feel she, so bad. She doesn't say anything, but your grandpa used to. Yeah. My she used grandpa to, yeah. would bully us. <laughs> oh, my grandpa, pobrecito. She used to say, sí, hermana. Sí, hermana. Yeah. yeah. Remember? Yeah. That's why I would always stay quiet in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't even try to talk because my grandpa would get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Or he remember. would make me feel dumb. <laughs> I remember. Okay, this is a good question. Okay, Nancy Betty P said, What is your mom's opinion on the ideal relationship on 50-50 man should do more? Do you know what I mean? 50-50 men should do more? Like the man should be superior. How do you feel about that? So how is how is it fifty fifty? If the man, I is guess the do question more? doesn't really make sense, oh, okay. right? No, it said opinion on the ideal relationship as on fifty fifty, man should do more. I don't really know what she's trying to say. No, no, but I I do, I do believe it has to be fifty fifty. Yeah, I do believe in that. I strongly believe in that as well mm -hmm. because, dude, honestly, like. Having a kid is crazy. And the, and at the end of the day, the way that I think of it is like, if he can stick his weenie in you and get you pregnant, <laughs> oh, he better fucking come through when the baby is actually here. Right or wrong? Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Like, I, I don't need to be vulgar, you know, but like, that's just what it is. Like, if you're down to get pregnant, you have to stick through the, mm -hmm. the pregnancy. What mm -hmm. the hell? And mm -hmm. the childhood and, and everything of just being a parent. Half and half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree with that. It should be half and half, but it's always the woman does more. Yeah, no matter always. what. No matter what. No matter what. But I do feel like there needs to be a lot of effort from men. And I feel like, unfortunately, like the era that we live in is just... Well, I mean, I feel like overall, it's always just kind of been like that, where the woman is expected to do more than a man. Yeah. Yeah. It's always just been expected that way and... I think it's really fucked up, but at the end of the day, I feel like as women, it's up to us to really set that, set that boundary, set that expectation for men as well, because like, bro, what the heck, mm -hmm. you know, I'm very passionate about that because uh, mm -mm. it takes two to make a baby. So it should take two to raise a baby. Yes. You know, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A thousand percent. And if you're in a situation where your man doesn't want to be a man to his his child or doesn't want to be a father to his child get away girl get away girl because it's not going to get any better get away before you get pregnant again yeah because it's really easy to get pregnant oh yeah i feel like my biggest piece of advice would be to just try to be the best parent that you can be to your kid you know because mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's about your kid fuck the guy whatever if you don't want to step up that's fine 
that's fine but like you are currently contributing to the biggest part of your child's life which is their childhood and if a, a child has a fucked up childhood their adulthood is going to be even more fucked up uh-huh. for sure a thousand percent so i think it's important to realize that when you have a kid it's not about you and your man anymore you know to an extent it is about you guys but overall no. your number one priority is your child mm-hmm. is your child no matter what yeah. you know mm-hmm. so and you know that's a tough pill to swallow because you know i feel like as women we we love love and we want things to work out no matter what but like you have to think about the bigger picture mm-hmm. your kids your kids because one day your kids are going to be adults and they're going to really think about like their childhood and their upbringing and stuff and be like dude like i remember going through so much and like dude that's why there's murders and that's why there's this and this and that because they mm-hmm. have fucked up childhoods mm-hmm. it's sad it's actually really really sad yeah criminales and all yeah that. yeah it's really sad stephanie said as a traditional mother how do you feel about your daughters being untraditional so what i take from that is how would you take that and then i'll tell you how i feel that that means <laughs> yeah okay so as a non-loca how do you feel that your daughters are locas uh yo no me siento mal no siento no estoy en contra de la forma que son ellas ¿Por qué? porque estamos hablando de otra época yeah Estamos hablando de otra época, de otros años. Y yo soy de décadas, décadas atrás yeah. de ellas. Cuando nos tomábamos el caldo de pollo con popote. No más. ¿Qué significa? Like, like, como cuando te dicen del año del caldo. Ay, tú eres del año del caldo. That means que tú eres vieja, pues, oh. de antes, antigua. Well, that's not nice. No, no, lo que te quiero decir es que... Um, mis costumbres son otras. Right, ¿Por right, qué? Right, right. Porque yo nací cuántos años antes que tú? Well, a lot. Ok. Yeah, a big ¿Cuántos difference. años antes que Jenny? I don't know. A lot. Como 24. Yeah. Y así. Really? That's it? Sí. Cada década, cada década va, va cambiando, va cambiando, va cambiando, va cambiando. No puede ser la misma. ¿Te imaginas right. si todos fuéramos como 100 años atrás? What I will say no. to that is imagine this generation that's just being born like Emmy. Girl. That's really scary to think, think about. If you think me and Jenny are untraditional. Girl. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Because you know what? In reality, like genuinely, genuinely, you guys only see a very small percentage of me and Jenny online. We're señoras at heart. But obviously, we have to post stuff that's entertaining, that's, you know, good to catch the viewer's eye. Um, so obviously, like, the simplest way that I can say is that you guys are always just getting a very tiny glimpse of mm-hmm. our life, mm-hmm. you know? So mm-hmm. I am a senora. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I am a senora. And bitch, I be struggling all the time to even film podcast episodes. I mean, my mom sees it, you know, like, it's hard. <laughs> O sea, como dicen, nomás miran lo malo yeah. y no miran nada de lo bueno. Right. Exactly. No, no, no. Exactly, exactly. Como so, el otro día que estaba en live, yo me, me comentó una persona y como que le urgía que yo mirara el comentario. Uh-huh. ¿Qué pensaba yo? Que, ¿Qué opinaba yo de la forma tan vulgar que Jenny se vistía? Uh-huh. Cuando sale a sus shows o así, yeah, pues. Yeah. But I don't think it's vulgar. I just... Pues, I mean, ¿Quieres saber qué le contesté? What? Le dije, voy a contestar a esta persona, no recuerdo cómo se llamaba, pero le dije, voy a contestar tu comentario porque por lo que veo, te interesa que te, lo, que te lo conteste porque yeah. me lo pones y me lo pones y me lo pones. Ok, si yo tuviera el cuerpo que Jenny tiene, yo andaba bailando con ella por un lado de ella encuerada también. Ah, she's not. <risa> la, u- <risa> la única razón por la cual no, no ando bailando con ella es porque estoy gorda ah. y no tengo el cuerpo. Y es por eso que mucha gente habla y dice de porque yeah. no, no pueden. Right. Pero no, no, no. ¿Cómo les diré? ¿Por qué va uno a hablar y, y echarle tierra a otra gente que, pues, que sí puede, que está saliendo adelante? Pero ¿sabes por qué? Porque es súper fácil hablar, hablar atrás de un atrás teléfono. De un te- teléfono, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. It's really fucking easy to sit yeah. here and talk shit, but until you're really face to face with yeah. someone, it's like, Can I take a picture with you? Yeah. Please. ¿Y sabes cómo se llama eso? 
A hypocrite. Otra palabra. What? Cobardía. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> coward. Yeah. Also a coward. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. So, you know, that's kind of all I have to say about that. It's like you guys only see a tiny bit of me and the tiny bit that you guys see, you guys can think whatever you want, come up with whatever you guys want. I really don't care. You know, I at the end of the day, it's like I can't make everyone happy. No, there is no way. I cannot make everyone happy. And whoever doesn't like me already initially is always going to find a problem with me and will always point out the problem in me or Jenny or you or anything, you know? So, true. you know, like I don't. Yeah, sure. Times are different, but I don't really feel that we're untraditional enough to not be moms. Nope. A mom is a mom, traditional or not. Tradicional no es la palabra correcta para usar. Yeah. Es no, no, ¿cómo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ¿Cómo? ¿A poco ustedes a huevo van a ser igual que mí? Mm -hmm. 54 años cuando nací, right. nomás porque tienes que ser tradicional. No, señoritas, así no trabaja yeah. la cosa. Yeah. And I el, feel like... El tiempo va pasando, la tecnología right. va subiendo, las costumbres van pasando, mm -hmm. van subiendo, todo va cambiando. I mean, put it this way. You When know? Jenny was little, there was pagers. Yes. Girl, look at... We're on iPhone, pictures. what, 15? Mm -hmm. 16? I don't yes. remember which one. Así, así, es lo mismo. Va pasando la época yeah. de las personas. Así es. Mm -hmm. Queramos o no. Simplemente que hay una gente que se queda que... Oh, ay, yo no. Ay, tu, 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 tu. Y escondidas andan haciendo un desmadre. Exactly, you know? girl. No. Exactly. Por eso es mejor estar destapadito. ¿Para qué me voy a esconder? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yo al único que le pido opiniones a mi marido... Yeah, that's, that's the way that I think, you know, yeah. as long as my mom and my dad are cool with whatever I'm doing, if they don't feel like I'm doing something wrong that's going to harm my life in the future, then you know, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I don't care about the comments. I don't care about none of that. I don't. I don't. As long as my parents are good, my man is good, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I don't care what anyone has to say. And luckily, my mom genuinely supports us. And do you feel like in your head... Would you want us to be traditional? Or do you feel like you're happy that we're not traditional? Um, or like a balance, maybe. I'm just happy if you guys are happy. Yeah. No matter if you guys are traditional or not traditional. I'm happy if you guys are happy. Because, Period. you know what? I know that the generations have changed really dramatically. Like, your generation compared to our generation is, like, complete opposites. Mm -hmm. Complete opposites. So, I'm sure it was hard for you to kind of get used to it in the beginning. But it's just different times. Yeah, it, it was hard. Pero yo solita me... me, me me rectifiqué y dije, wait a minute, acuérdate yeah. cuando tú estabas joven, mm -hmm. claro, los tiempos eran diferentes, pero acuérdate, tú pasaste por aquí, right. por ahí, te, 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 y, y sufrí porque mis papás yeah. eran bien estrictos, y fue mm -hmm. cuando dije, no, I am not, I am going to be strict, pero al mismo tiempo, not too strict, yeah. ¿sí me entienden? A, a entenderlas, a tratar de entenderlas, a ser abiertas, a, a comunicarme con ellas de lo que sea, de no asustarme de lo que me digan. Yo siempre les dije a ellas, cuando iban a la escuela que estaban chiquillas, cuando tengan algo que decirme, díganmelo. Sea bueno o sea malo, porque de todas maneras, yo voy a descubrir y entonces sí me voy a encabronar. She would always scare me with that. Yeah. Es bueno ser estrictos, pero hasta cierto punto. Yeah. Porque también, if you overdo it... They don't give a fuck. No. It's going to get to a point yeah. where they're like... Bye. Yeah. I'm doing it anyways. Uh -huh. And even harder, because you said no. Siempre es bueno ser estrictos, pero darles mucho amor al mismo tiempo y yeah. confianza. Val Green 89 said, How was it like for Mama 69 to see you go through postpartum depression? It was sad. I was worried. What Were you really? Yes. Was I bad like that? I wasn't going to come and, Oh, you're worried. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, porque... So I could be like, yeah. Las dos a chillar, nos dos moremos ahí. <laughs> Because I'm so emotional, you guys. Just no, naturally. Mi trabajo como mamá yeah. es, yo soy el pilar. Mm -hmm. Me caigo yo, se caen todas. Todos, incluyendo yeah. a Isaac y a Manuel. Yeah. Porque todos, everybody's under me. Everybody, even your dad. Yo soy el pilar de la casa. Yo soy como, ¿cómo te diré? Una... You're, you're like the, the rock of the, the house. The palo right there holding the umbrella. Se cae you're el palo y se cae todo. Yes, yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. So, te imaginas, me pongo a llorar con ustedes. ¿Qué va a pasar? So, you were kind of panicking? Pues, ¿cómo no? Y luego que everybody was messaging me. Like, who? DMs. Really? To check on you, to check on you. 
Really? Sí, y era cuando yo estaba bien mala, pues, que no podía venir. When I had Emmy, I was just kind of like scared. Like, I was scared that my life was ending. I was scared that I was going to lose everyone around me, including my mom. Like, I don't know. Like, that's mm -hmm. just that's just kind of what I went yeah. through. I can't even explain it. It was dramatic. It was over the top, for sure. But like, in that moment, your hormones are just all over the place to the point where like you genuinely can't control it. Mm -hmm. You genuinely cannot control it at all. But... I think what trips me out the most is knowing that you went through that alone. That hurts me to know. Oh, me? Yeah. But mine wasn't as bad as yours. Really? No. Out of all the kids? No. So you I didn't, didn't get it for any of us? Oh, I did got it. But just but a not little that bit. Bad. Not that bad. Maybe because I'm stronger? Yeah. I don't know. I'm very but emotional. But with Jenny... It was the worst. It with was Jenny. the worst. But it wasn't not even half of yours. But like what did you think with Jenny? Like you felt like your life was ending or like it was just gonna be really No, hard? I, I didn't think anything. I just no más quería estar llorando. Mm. Pero yo no lloraba todo el día, yo no más lloraba cuando tu papá llegaba al trabajo. Mm. Cuando lo veía que, que oía la troca a chillar. Like how I was with Isaac. Y me decía tu papá. <laughs> ¿Por qué lloras? Pues cuando vengo, a mí se me hace que ya no me quieres, no quieres que llegue. Like, no, I love you so much, that's why I'm crying. No te vayas porque quiero no tener. Ya. Y ahí decía él, yo siento que ya no me quieres y ya no quieres que venga porque lloras cuando vengo. Y le decía, es que tú no entiendes. I would have panicked. Es tristeza, me da tristeza, no, no sé cómo explicarlo. Es parte del, del embarazo, es parte mm -hmm. de cuando uno se alivia. Pero sí, mija, la mía no fue ni la mitad de la tuya. So you feel like mine was pretty bad? It was bad. Really? It, it was bad. Y luego te pegó eso de que yo no vine en esas two, three weeks. También eso te pegó. Porque yo estuve aquí desde que te aliviaste yeah. todos los días. Luego venía tres, cuatro veces a la semana como yo podía. Y pum, me enfermé. ¿Y cómo iba a venir? Yeah. Even when she was here, though, I never let you take care of him at night. No. I never let you take care of him at night. During the day, yeah. So I could sleep a little bit and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. If I needed help, you would help me. But because I was like, I'm not going to put my mom in a position where she has to care for my child as if he's her own. You know, he's my child. I have to grow the fuck up. You're not going to take care of him when it's nighttime because that's my responsibility. I have to learn how to do that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and she always wanted to help me. She was always down to help me at night, but I just, I would never wake you up. And then the no. next day I would be like, I didn't sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep. And she'd be like, why didn't you wake me up? And I was like, well, no, for what? <laughs> for what? You know? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> it was crazy, but even just knowing that you were there, it just brought me comfort. Te daba valor. Yeah, mm -hmm. even even if you weren't helping me in that exact moment, it just it helped knowing that you were there, mm -hmm. even if I just had to talk. Mm -hmm. You know. So we're gonna be picking the last and final question for tonight. Favorite memory about each other. Oh, I remember. Now it. <laughs> Okay, so this was around the time when I think I was in middle school. So my mom worked for the school district in our city, which is Riverside. So she worked for RUSD, which meant that she had priority to send us to whatever school we wanted to, okay? So I decided to go to this school that was way across, you know, Riverside from where we were at. <laughs> so I went to Gage. And there was one day where she wanted to... Did I take? This, the bus to elementary mm -hmm. too? No. Just middle school, middle right? School. I had to go take the bus. And she had to wake up really, really early in the morning. And this was when you worked nights. I used to come home at 4.30 and I used to wake up at 6.30 to take you to the bus. Two hours. Why did you do that? Because I had to. But I would have been like, no, you're not going to that school. Yeah. Porque was a better school. It was a And since school. I had yeah. the opportunity yeah, yeah, yeah. to, you know, send you with... Yeah. Because our homeschool was really, like, ratchet. Yeah. It was and, really and I had the opportunity, <laughs> so why not? Yeah. Okay. You're right. I understand that. So I really wanted to go to this school. It was Gage Middle School. Is that the real name? Uh, Matthew Gage Matthew Middle Gage. School. Matthew Gage Middle School in Riverside. Uh, but that's all the way across town for us, okay? So I had to take a bus every single morning, like, at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. 6 30 something yeah so but we were always there early because i never wanted to miss it because mm -hmm. if you miss it well you're fucked and she had to take me to school so 
Um, I remember one day we were, you know, driving out our, our <laughs> driveway and my mom was so tired, dude. Pobrecita de my mom. Bien cansada. Muchachas me levantaba con escalofrío. Pues yeah. te imaginas después de dormir dos horas nomás. And my dad was already gone by then. He was gone. Yeah, he was already working trabajo. by then. Um, so my mom woke up and she was really tired. And I remember that like very, very clearly. And she was kind of like those tired <laughs> moments where like you don't even know what the fuck is going on type shit. She like so. Does yeah like literally like one eye shut type shit and i remember we had taken my brother's car oh my god my brother's car at the time and it was like a little green what what kind of car was it? a honda honda, honda a civic. little green honda civic <laughs> And it was those type of cars, like, dude, you gotta keep in mind, it wasn't the time where, like, it had the, the manual things where no. you can scoot up by yourself. You had to, like, pull the handle and, like, fix your <laughs> chair by yourself. So, we were going down the hill, which it's literally down the hill from our house. And, you know, it's literally a slope. It's fucking a slope. You go down. So, um... <laughs> I remember we were pulling out of the neighborhood we were and you like were fixing your chair as you were going down the hill. Driving and fixing my chair. So she pulls the thing. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls the chair thing as we're going down the hill and she goes. <laughs> <laughs> and she literally beeped on the car. With my boobies. <laughs> like her boobs literally went <laughs> beep, boom, beep. <laughs> And I woke up. After and that, I, remember, I was awake. I remember looking at her and I was like, ay, ay, ay. Oh my God, dude. That was so hilarious. And I just kept laughing at you. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. That was so freaking funny. And then I ended up going to school and that was that. But... <laughs> You were so tired. I, don't I was really that. tired. I don't know how the hell you did that shit. I don't either. Okay, so now what's your favorite memory? Favorite memory? Shoot. Ay, no me acuerdo ahorita. Not favorite. Oh, okay. It's funny, but still kind of sad. Una... <laughs> She's like, it's funny. Una vez que te salió una cucaracha, remember you used to have the bed up there? Tenía su cama arriba. Yes, that was all dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Le salió una cucaracha en arriba de esas de, de la, del agua, water. The I water think, ones. Yeah, ajá. Uh ajá, -huh. uh -huh, y brincó desde arriba antes que no te quebraste una pata. I don't know how the hell I did it, uh, but I remember that because that was probably the year that I moved out. I think so. Yeah, that I was like so. the year that I moved out. And in Riverside, I don't know why, dude, but there is a fucking infestation of yeah. roaches at night. Like, there is roaches at night. like Water, water roaches. Water roaches, yeah, not like food roaches or anything mm -hmm. like that but they will climb up your pipes and shit like they will be in your house you know and i have always had a really bad phobia with roaches like i do not like roaches at all i won't kill them i won't nothing nothing because like if i kill them that means i have to hear the crunch mm -hmm. and i don't like that mm -hmm. i don't it freaks me out you know so um i remember this was like the last year that i lived at my mom's house and i had a bunk bed you know, so I had my room set up to where it was like my bunk bed. And then under my bunk bed, it wasn't another bed. It was like my studio. So that's where I would film like my makeup videos mm -hmm. and my YouTube videos and stuff. So, so there was really no way for the roach to get up to me. But for, for some reason, it came up to me. Um, so, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. So the restroom was right here. Okay, the restroom's right here. And my room is right here. So it's not that much of a dif dis distance from the restroom to my room. So I would always be paranoid about roaches coming up from the, the drain from the bathtub. So I would always shut it. I would always shut the, the bathtub. Mm. Always. Because I was, I was always scared of roaches coming up. And from the sink. So I remember that day specifically. I guess I didn't remember to plug the thing or whatever. Oh my god i'm getting flashbacks girl <laughs> so i remember it was late at night it was probably maybe like what three four in the morning what time mm -hmm. does my dad wake up Come on, last four or five four thirty five yeah okay mm -hmm. so it was around that time it was like 3 a.m 4 30 around there 
And I remember I was sitting in my bunk bed and I was just on my phone and stuff. And then out of nowhere, I heard. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> my first thought was not, oh, it's a ghost. No, my first thought was it's a fucking roach. I already know those motherfuckers are big as shit <laughs> and they make noise when they walk. Like, I know it's a roach. And I didn't think anything of it. And I was just like, all right, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Maybe it's my dad. He's already getting getting up for work. So I didn't think anything of it. <sighs> Bitch, tell me why this roach literally climbs up my bunk bed. Climbs up my bunk bed. I'm in pitch black darkness. And then I feel, oh, <laughs> literally, Ew. literally, I felt some wetness and I, I felt like the crawling and it was so oh. loud, dude. And I was like... <sighs> Like my, I didn't know it was a roach at that point, but my natural in instinct, just having a phobia for roaches, I automatically thought that it was a roach. So I was like, oh my God. And I fucking, like I fucking went like that and I jumped off my bunk bed. Like there was a, a staircase to go up. I slid down that shit. Like I was a fucking fire woman. Like I slid down that shit. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. And I remember I panicked so hard. I woke my dad up. <laughs> Because he was already waking up for work. Yeah. And I remember I was like, Ba, there's a there's a roach in my room. Like, I need you to come kill it. Like, I like please, please, before you go to work, just come kill it. So then he went to my room. He searched. He didn't find nothing. And I was like, dude, no me quede, like, no. comfortable. I was like, hell no, I'm not going to sleep. Hell <laughs> no, because I'm not tripping. That was a fucking roach. When I went like this to move it, it was wet. Like, it was legit a roach. A big ass, fat ass roach. And I remember I was just like, okay, whatever. You know, I didn't want to stress my dad out because he had to go to work. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, whatever. I know it's there, but I'll just say it's not there because you have to go. I remember um, the day afterwards, I had looked into my closet because I was going to get dressed or whatever. And I found the roach there. Alive? All crunchy. Oh. It was crunchy already, but it was a big ass, fat ass, oh. nasty ass roach <laughs> that was all over my hair, all over my ear. Oh, Disgusting. Oh my God. So that's your favorite memory of No, me? not favorite. No más que se me hizo, se me hizo, I thought it was funny porque como brincaste de arriba hasta abajo. I flew off. It's not my favorite. No. I flew I off. I was going to clarify that. <laughs> okay, Queen. So we're going to go ahead and finish off this episode by saying thank you so much for the support, for all the love and everything. Um, you know, you guys have been really enjoying Area 69, especially with my mom on it. So I had to bring thank her you, back thank you. for another episode. Um, so if you guys do want her back for another episode, episode three of, of Lorena 69, be sure to let us know. Um, but yeah, that's all we have for Yeah, no más déjenme saber. Y sí, vuelvo a venir. Uh, she's no? like, I'm here. Muchas gracias, muchachos, por pedirme. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty much all we have for today. So thank you so much, gracias, you guys. Gracias. We love you. And I will see you guys next Sunday at 7 p.m. Bye-bye.